Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is your neighborhood friendly Oxhorn and I'm here today with another Fallout 4 video. This one is all about level 4 trading vendors in your settlement. Now before we, get, we begin, I apologize ahead of time for the lag and the frame rates in this particular settlement. I have over 70 settlers in this settlement and that really drags down my frame rate. Um, this is my sanctuary and it's not finished but I plan to... Um, <clears throat> fix the frame rate issue by dispersing my settlers around, um, but I haven't done that yet, so apologies in advance. But anyway, this is my 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 vendor shop. I've got a couple of different trading stations throughout this settlement, and this one is dedicated only to the special named NPCs that you can collect throughout the wasteland, send them to your settlements, and they can be assigned to a vendor stall to open up special inventory. So let's start with this guy, the vault Tech rep. Many of you have probably already found him. He's one of the very first named NPCs that you can find and send to your settlement. And he does have special inventory when you assign him to a general trading shop. So assign him, assign him to a level three trading shop and then check hey, out his inventory. Now that you're back here in Sanctuary, how would you like a job? One glitch with this guy is that even after you've already assigned him to your settlement, he still has the default conversation options that you sadly have to go through. Then you get to talk to him again, and that opens up his inventory. And uh, there you go. So here's a legendary item, the Apocalypse Grieve. Grants increasing energy and damage resistance the lower your health is. Let's see if he's got anything else. Looks like he's just got some random junk and... Uh, Scrap. Oh, but look at this. He can send you shipments of concrete. Wow, that's a lot of concrete. And that's about it. So, as you can see, he's got some unique inventory. Then there's this uh, girl, Anne Hargraves. You find her at the WVG radio broadcast place or whatever after you do a couple of quests. After you bring uh, Rex, what's his name, from Trinity Tower... Uh, she becomes available to send to one of your settlements, and she's a, a, a tier four clothing merchant. Merchant. So let's take a look at what her inventory let's see looks what like. Kind of got for sale. Doesn't have a lot to say. And does she have anything interesting? Not really. Militia hat, Minuteman outfit. That's it. Wow. So slightly disappointing on that one. Then there's this guy. His name is Ron Staples. I found him just wandering the wasteland. This was a random encounter. Um, I just got lucky and I found him. And he is a tier four bar merchant. So let's hey. uh, check out his inventory. Can I set you up with something? Sure. Let me see what you've got. My selection is a bit limited. You know, he says that. He says that his selection is limited every time you, you uh, talk to him. And it is pretty limited. And I think this is a bug. Now, he does have a fairly high um, number of caps, which is great if you're trying to sell stuff. But he sells drinks and food. He does sell uh, the Dirty Wastelander, but he only has one in his inventory. And that's really about it. I read somewhere online that when they have that line in their dialogue that says that their inventory is um, limited right now, that that actually re represents a, a bug that um, when you assign them to a level three trading stall, they should have updated inventory. And when they say that line, it means that there's a bug. So I don't know, it's a little disappointing with that one. Now there's this guy, this is the scribe. He's also a random encounter. You find him just walking the wasteland. Hi. Let's see what he's got for we sale. Again. Are you in the market for some new armor? Why, yes I am. Sure. I'm always looking for good armor. My selection is a bit limited right now. See, he's saying the same thing, that his selection is limited. And uh, I don't know... I mean, he's still got a legendary piece. He's got the Apocalypse Chestplate. Temporarily slows time during combat when you are twenty, at 20% 20 less health. When you're only at 20% health. And then he's got the Mark IV... The Mark IV synth chest piece. Enemies have a harder time detecting you while you're sneaking and not moving. And the Mark IV synth left leg, plus two luck. Wow, that's great for an assassin build. Right there. And uh, he sells well uh, railway w uh, rifles. Wow. Railway rifles. That's a, that's a load for your mouth. All right, uh, so there you go. So he's great if you assign him to an armor merchant, but he also has guns, as you can see. Then there's this lady, this is Doc Anderson, also a random encounter. Uh, and I got all, th all, th all, th all three of these, uh, him, him, 
her, and him. I managed to, dis well, I, I, all of them. I found them all on random encounters, but two of them were bugged. I'll get to the bug in a minute, but she was not bugged when I met her. Okay. So let's take a look at her inventory. She's a doctor, so you should assign her to a level three uh, clinic. And she can patch you up, heal your rads, and then this is her inventory. Uh, pack of cigarettes, shipment of antiseptic. This is the big thing. This is, um, that's that's really the big thing. I, I don't know if you can, can you get that anywhere else? I'm not sure. Her inventory is not that special, but she does give you shipments of antiseptic. Then we have this guy. This is Smiling Larry, and he's bugged. He's bugged big time. But if you do manage to get him, assign him to your weapon stall. And uh, let's take a look at his inventory, see what he's got. Let's trade. Smiling Larry hasn't got it. You probably don't need it. Alright, so lots of weapons. Look at look at the number of caps. He's got 1,600 caps, which is a huge amount, so it's great for making money. And wow, 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 wow. Look at all these weapons he's got. If you're wanting mods for your weapons and you, you don't want to uh, uh, farm for them, just get Smiling Larry. He's got almost every single mod attached to his weapons. And he also carries a legendary slash unique called... Reckoning. Take 15% less damage while standing and not moving. It's a ripper. It's a uh, it's a legendary ripper, which is pretty pretty rare. Recoil coil compensating suppressed. If you need a silencer for any weapon in the game, get Smiling Larry. He's got all of the silencers. <laughs> it's just quite an impressive inventory with Smiling Larry. But he's bugged. He uh, unless you use console commands you won't be able to get him to your settlement. I have yet to hear of a console player who's got Smiling Larry just because um, he's so bugged out. And another one that's bugged out is Trader Riley. You've probably come across Trader Riley. She's actually a fairly common random encounter. Um, she's not r random, actually. She's You first meet her outside of the fish packing uh, plant. And uh, you have the option then, if you talk to her immediately after the whole introduction slash quest ends. If you talk to her as she's leaving, she'll say, hey, um, I want to join a settlement. If, But if you assign her to your settlement, she never goes there. And um, so let's take a look at her inventory. Hi. Got any scab to sell? Sure. Let me show you what I've got. Now, as you can see, as you just saw, she still has the exact same dialogue options. Uh, there was the option uh, for to tell her to work for you. Um, so her dialogue options don't change, despite the fact that she is a level tier 4 merchant. She can send shipments of concrete, just like the Vault Tech rep. Uh, so if you need concrete, <laughs> these are the guys to get. Looks like she has the exact same inventory as the Vault Tech rep. Huh. So not terribly exciting with Trader Riley. But if you've got a collection and you want to collect all of the named tier 4 merchants, these are all of them. But sadly, you can't get all of them without using console commands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the console commands that you need to use to get Trader Riley assigned and to get Ron Staples, uh, I, I'm sorry, to get Smiling Larry assigned. I have read online that some people are having troubles with Doc Anderson and the Scribe, but I personally didn't have any problem getting them, them to my settlement. So all I'm going to show you today are the console commands you need to get Smiling Larry and Trader Riley. So I'm going to load an old save game of my sanctuary before I got these merchants, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, here we are at a previous game save. So let's work on getting Trader much, Riley. As I said earlier, Trader Riley has uh, is the level 4 merchant that has the most consistent bugs. So in order to get her to, f to uh, fixed, we're, we're going to have to use console commands. So... I met her earlier in the game, and I assigned her to Sanctuary, and she never showed up. I happened upon her in another random encounter, and I again assigned her to Sanctuary, and she never showed up. So um, we're going to be using console commands, and I don't consider this cheating, because if the game were working as intended, we wouldn't be forced to do this. Uh, that's why I, I, I'm completely fine. I know that some people consider console commands to be a gray area, but I'm completely... Um, fine with using them for this sort of thing. So the first thing we need to do is we need to select Trader Riley wherever she is in the in the world. And to do that, we type in PRID and then her ref ID. So P-R-I-D space and then her ref ID is 000 
3EFF3. Press enter, and she is now selected wherever she is in the world. You see how uh, this section of the screen right there has the white text? That means that she's selected. First thing we gotta do is disable her. This is gonna, whoops. And you do that by just typing disable in the console. This removes all scripts associated with her and it, um, and, uh, it hopefully purges her of, of bugs. Then you type enable. She is now re-enabled. Finally, you move her to you. So go move to space player and then exit the console. And there she is, Trader Riley. So then you can try talking with her. Excuse me. Looking to trade? You ask her to work for you. Do you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. And then you choose, uh, where is it? Sanctuary Hills. You've got yourself a deal. Great. So she should be selectable in the console now. Yep. And there she is. Let's assign her and bring her to this trading post. Now, there is a bug in the game whereby um, uh, for some reason when you're in really large settlements, it takes a while to assign people to their tasks. And it's just a bug in the game and I'm not sure why. So in this instance, we just have to wait. But once the bug clears itself, we'll see a message in the top left-hand corner that says this resource is now assigned and she'll show up here at the trading post. So now let's get Smiling Larry. So, a Smiling Larry is another one where I met him in the world and he just didn't, he, he didn't go where I told him to go. So we're going to select him. His ref ID, so we're gonna go um, prid 0002F2A6, that selects him. Whoops, no, it doesn't select him. What's that error we're getting? 2F2A6, 2F2A6, 000, 000. All right, well, let's try his base ID. Okay, so for this guy, we needed his base ID for some reason. So instead of his reference, oh no, that was his base ID. The first time I tried it was with his base ID. The ref ID is the one that we need to do this. So now we go move to player. Oh wait, no, sorry, actually we disable. Disable, then enable, enable, then move to player. You looking to trade? And there he is. Now this guy's really messed up because you go through his story. People want something. And uh, you don't actually get the option. What's your story? People want something. Now. To send him to your settlement. Not interested. You don't know. And this is a glitch. Uh, we, I've read up a couple of articles on it, and apparently, if there are some conditions that say that if you have more than 20 settlements, and if they have over 80 happiness or something like that, that there are a bunch of conditions that must be in place before you're allowed to control this guy or talk to him or get the option to make him a traitor in your settlement. But I've met all of those qualifications, and it's still not working. Let's see what you've got. Mom and Larry always have something. So, uh, we are uh, forced to use console commands. So, first of all, let's make him commandable. So go set PV, make sure he's still selected, and in this case he is. So we'll go set PV, be commandable one. Then we go set PV, be commandable I'm sorry, B, allow, move, one. And this allows us to move him from settlement to settlement. That should open everything up. And it doesn't. So we're going to try one more thing. We're going to try add keyword workshop allow command. 
Oh, did you see that notification in the top left-hand corner? That resource is now assigned. That's uh, Trader Riley, so she should come walking back here. But this guy should be assigned now. Yes, and he is commandable. So, he is now commandable. Let's go over to the weapons station. And we just assigned him. Whoa. Ah, and the lag. Sorry, my settlement is huge, which is why we're getting the FPS issue. So we just assigned him, but my my, my game for some reason is lagging out on commands. So I'm gonna, uh, let's first go find Trader Riley. She went walking this way. And we should find her walking back. And there she is. Yep, she's on her way back. Turned around on her way back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording right now and just wait for them to go to their shop. Uh, and then I'll start recording again once everything has fixed itself. And there we go. It took a really long time, but uh, the bug cleared itself and she did assign herself to this one. And he assigned himself to this one finally. So um, that's how you get it to work. Uh, double check everything. If... If you get the message that says this settler is now assigned, but the settler doesn't walk over here, like Trader Riley, I got that message, but she didn't walk over to her to her booth for some reason. Um, if that happens to you, just fast travel away and fast travel back, and uh, they'll appear at their booths. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you get the level four traders, the named merchants. Uh, again, they have unique inventory, and they sometimes sell legendary items. You can only find them using random encounters, unless you want to cheat and use console commands. But even if you do come across them naturally in the game, th many of them are bugged, which is going to leave you to resorting to use console commands to get them all anyway. So, check the description of this video for a full list of console commands that you can use to move them assign them to your settlement, and then assign them to a trading stall. Um, I'm also going to include their their uh, reference IDs in case you want to uh, use console commands to get them. I hope this was useful. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe, subscribe. Oh, dear. All right, I got to go take care of Oberlin Station. But subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I've got a lot more Fallout 4 content for you, as well as content related to other things like cigars and gentlemanly style. Uh, so on and so forth. Thanks again for watching.